Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite PvP builds since the beginning of New World. It's still very viable and very, very strong because of where New World has rapier at this point in time in PvP. Obviously, a lot of people running light, medium, but mostly light, and rapier is really, really good at catching light and also getting away from light. You can see here, double repost. Rending both of them is huge. I'm able to get out of that fight and you can see here I'm actually able to even do a 2v3 with snow pledge against three other players Like I said in arena as our guy kind of lagged out or kind of glitched out really uh, But you can see that there's huge potential huge damage and a lot of reasons as to why this build works The first perk you're gonna want to focus in on is resilient You want that damage or crit damage to do less damage overall shirking fortification is the next perk in line this one is also stacks like resilient and the damage absorption being decreased is huge or sorry being increased is huge refreshing pillar of fire is an obvious one you're going to want to reduce the cooldown every time you hit an enemy and you'll hit multiple enemies a lot in outpost rush and sometimes in arena as well empowering fireball is another kind of obvious one you're going to want to do more damage with your fireball it's your kind of automatic hit and usually it can take a lot of damage on a player we have Sundering or Post, which is huge. It's really the only perk you're going to be looking for on your rapier. It's going to make sure they are rended. We also have Hardy and Keen Awareness. This is going to be your ring. You're going to want that Keen Awareness on your ring no matter what. And then Hardy's a great one to take as well. We also have Refreshing Toast, Nimble, and Purifying Toast. These are all very important perks in PvP, so you're definitely going to want to try to get those. Uh, those are kind of really all the perks that we're going to be focused in on in today's video on this build. But I wanted to go to those first so you guys kind of understand where we're kind of taking this build. We're taking the Pillar of Fire, we're taking the Fireball, we're going Rend on the Repost, all so that we can do the most amount of damage as possible before these fights are over. So you can see that we're doing a lot of Arena, but there's also some Outpost Rush where this gameplay really does shine. You always fight in the middle of the map at the start of the game, Typically, in Outpost Rush, the Rapier does great to get away, like I said, from fights. But the biggest thing is you're going to have that Pillar of Fire doing major AoE damage with your Fireball as well. You can see the stats that we're taking here is going to be 50 Dex, 300 Intelligence, and we're going to actually do about 117 Con. That's just so that we can eat that food that's Con food that gives us plus 40, and we'll be at 157 Con. It's a really great way to make sure you're hitting all of those different marks so we do more damage at 300 intelligence. We have that 5% crit at the 50 dex and then we have that 150 con basically giving us more health and giving us some of those perks as well. You can see how good it is in 1v1 scenarios as well. Definitely with the repost rending now too if you have the rend on your rapier. It's just a huge perk to take and it makes you do so much more damage to the enemy as you saw the rapier just kind of eat them up there. This is the rapier kind of skill tree we're going to be going for. So if you want to pause the video, you definitely can. I just want to say, you know, rapier is so good because of the idea that you can get away from about anything. Definitely if you're going light armor, it's literally one of the best weapons in the game right now. Definitely a very, very big meta item or meta really weapon, I should say. In the game, we'll be doing a PvP tier list here on the channel. He, probably in the next couple of weeks, so you'll have a little bit better idea of what's really all meta right now. But we also have the fire staff, and this is kind of out of meta when it comes to three v threes, and it's out of meta when it comes to OPR. But it's not bad at all, and I don't really know why so many people are opting to go for bows, muskets, and everything. Realistically. The Ice Gauntlet, the Void Gauntlet, and the Fireball, um, or not Fireball, but the Fire Staff are, in my opinion, much better in a lot of different scenarios. So this is definitely going to be one of my favorite builds. One of the strongest builds as well, as you can see, like I said, I 2v3 with Snow Pledge in one of these clips that's coming up. It might even be this clip right here, but uh, yeah, it is this clip. Actually, this is the 2v3 Arena. And we take the Amethyst. So the Cut Pristine Amethyst gives us 50% of the damage converted to Void, and the damage scales off base weapon stat or intelligence. So in our case, it will be intelligence, which we have over 300 intelligence. So it's going to be a nice scaling there. You can see as well the scoreboard that I just showed. I'm doing a lot of damage with the fire staff and the rapier in a 2v3 and we do actually come back and win this 2v3 just a little spoiler alert so definitely watch and pay attention as how much damage this build does is just insane so the void is huge as well the amethyst because you put it in your rapier and you're going to do a little bit of void damage which nobody really has resistance to you can see that many people take fire ice or even physical resistance but really nobody takes the void resistance so it's a very nice slotted gem 
I also take the Onyx. So the Pristine Onyx is a huge one to take in the Fire Staff. Start off with a Fireball to the face on, you know, three or four people, as well as maybe even a Pillar of Fire on a couple people in Outpost Rush. It's going to be huge because you're going to do 30% increased damage to people with full health. And you can see here the amount of damage that we're doing as a crew. Um, not, not really getting my rend off just because we kind of went straight into them this time. But um, this build is just really, really fun. A ton of mobility, a lot of damage, a lot of AOE damage that is too. The only thing you're lacking, and it's just really CC, right? So you're going to have that repost right there. And I got that CC down. But you're not going to be able to initiate a repost. Typically, you're going to have to make sure they come after you before you can do any CC. So if it's a 3v1 situation, trying to chase that last guy down, you're going to be kind of useless. Thankfully, though, as a Fire Staff user, you're going to have that Fireball to pretty much automatically hit. Just make sure they're not, you know, maybe going to dodge roll it. So wait for their stamina to be at zero so you can make sure you hit the biggest Fireball possible. And this is the last round of the 3v3. So I'll just kind of talk us through what I'm thinking here. First, we're going to have our powerful gemstone dust already used, which I believe I just used it too early on accident, so it's probably going to be down by the time we actually get into a fight. But the biggest thing is to make sure to remember to use your potions, as everything is free in 3v3 Arena. So, Snow Pledge is going in pretty hot right now. I'm trying to get in there to actually just help him at this point, so I went in with the rapier. I got a repost, but it didn't hit the backstab. We're looking really dim right here. It looks like we may just straight up lose. So, what I do is eat that potion, eat that uh, regen potion, and we just take off, right? So we're just trying to stay alive while Snow Pledge kind of draws attention on the other two. Here we're going to actually continue our run because we're actually both really, really weak here. So it looks really like a grim chance of us winning, but the good thing is, is we do win. So I'm able to heavy attack the Fire Staff as he's using the, uh, what is that, Flamethrower. We do get two kills there, so just absolutely huge, and at this point we should win. Uh, so I'm trying to get around this. Uh, actually, I don't get two kills. It kind of glitched on the screen. We got one kill. So there's two left. We're both still a little weak. We're both just trying to regen a little bit. This guy's coming in for a kill. I get a fireball on him, doing about 2k crit damage, 1300 on that auto attack. Right now I'm out of stamina, so I mis misused my dodge rolls most likely because I should never be out of stamina. But here we go in with the rapier, getting that second kill. And at this point, it's just a matter of time before we get that third kill and end them here. So it's a fun build. Like I said, mobility is huge. The damage is huge. And you have a lot of different potential to do a lot of different things. So you can play this build in a bunch of different ways, aggressive, defensively, really whatever you want to do. And it's why it's so fun to me and why a lot of people probably will come back to this build over time. This was a great time. I hope you guys learned a lot about New World and what you can do with builds like these. They're a lot of fun. Make sure to take a look at this one. See if it's something you like. Let me know down in the comments what I should look into next. Thanks again. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Make sure to like the video, by the way. Subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on.